How do you use quizzes in your classroom? Well, lots of people think that quizzes are actually a summative assessment. It's how we figure out what grade we need to give a child, what they've learned so far. In actuality, quizzes, quizzes are used best when they're used as a formative experience. Teachers should be looking at quizzes and saying, what is it that most students got right? What is it they didn't get right? How can I adjust my teaching to be able to fill in the gaps that have been very clearly uh, done wrong on these quizzes? That actually, um, in, a, in a great PSI PMI classes, we'll be looking at quizzes in a formative way. And for that reason, we're going to give quizzes very often. We're going to, so that we can always gauge whether or not a student is learning the material or not learning the material, and what I can do as a teacher to present it differently. Um, and, you know, we talked a little bit about that when we talked about retakes, that it is important that students take, a, take an exam, it's really important that you give it back to them the very next day, and that they take some ownership and responsibility and understanding what they know and what they don't know. Yes, yeah, definitely, Rosemary. And, you know, the key thing is they're short and frequent, the quizzes are, usually one side of a page. Um, so you, even when you're retaking, you're not needing a lot of time to give those quizzes as a retake. And treat it as a formative way in that, we're going to remediate what we need before we move on. And hopefully in most cases, elementary classrooms for math at least have extended amount of time. So you do have some time to teach in a small group setting to remediate those students that might need it, um, be able to pull that small group together and use quizzes in that fashion. I also would like to look at the quizzes and see if there's a pattern on the mistakes that the students are making so that then we can dig a little bit deeper. For example, if we're doing two digit addition and subtraction, are they, you know, forgetting to carry over, are they doing the tens before the ones, really kind of digging to find the mistake so that we can address it, not just, okay, 50% of the class got it wrong, but what did they make the mistake? What was the mistake so that we can build upon that? 